Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel. Today we're jumping straight into SpongeBob, Titans of the Tide, an action-packed, underwater adventure where SpongeBob, Patrick, and the whole Bikini Bottom squad take on some seriously wild enemies. This game is super fun, fast, and full of that classic SpongeBob chaos we all love. And the best part? You can play it right on your mobile device. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to run it smoothly using the Game Hub emulator, one of the cleanest, fastest, and easiest emulators for playing PC games on Android. So if you're ready to bring the ocean battle straight to your phone, let's fire up Game Hub and dive into the setup. Let's go! Download the Game Hub version 5.3.3 and open the emulator. Click on Agree to accept the agreement. You can sign in using your Gmail, Google account, or Apple account. Once you're signed in, head over to the My tab and tap on PC Emulator. Next, click on Import PC Games, allow the file storage permission, and then import the .exe file of the game from wherever you saved it. GameHub will automatically fetch all the related information, just click Confirm. If the required files don't start downloading automatically, click on View Details, then tap Play Now. This will start downloading all the necessary files. Once everything is downloaded, the game will try launching itself, and you'll see the Microsoft Visual 2015 to 2022 installer pop up. Let's fix that and apply the best settings. Exit the game, click on the three dots, and go to PC settings. In general, set the resolution to 960 by 544. Then go to the compatibility tab and change the Proton version to Proton 10.0 ARM 64X2. In translation params, choose Extreme, scroll a bit, and change max instructions from 5000 to 1024. Select the CPU translator to latest. Keep the rest of the settings at default. Also, set the VRM limit to 4GB. Now head over to the Component tab, tap Install Component, search for Credits 2022, and let it fully download. Once it's installed, go back and click play now. Wait a few seconds and the game should start. Swipe left, turn on full screen, enable auto adjust brightness, tap on the stats icon, and set native rendering to auto. Now to make the game smoother on Android, go to the game settings menu. Under Video Options, navigate to Advanced Graphics and turn off the anti-aliasing method. Set the frame rate limit to 60 FPS. Under Graphics Quality, set 3D resolution to 70 to 75%. Set Global Illumination to Low. Turn Shadows Off. Set Lighting to Low. Turn off anti-aliasing. Keep the rest as I've shown. You can always adjust these settings later on, depending on your device. Click Y to apply the changes, go back to the main menu, and now you're ready to play SpongeBob, Titans of the Tide smoothly on your Android device. I've tweaked all these settings to get the best possible performance. And you can see that I'm getting around 30 FPS, which is very playable. During my testing, I didn't find any lag, the game ran perfectly fine with these settings. You can tweak a few options later based on your preference. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your SpongeBob lovers, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.